Hey guys, Cubic here, and uh, last night Skrillex blessed us with some new music. So we're about to review Clip Town Empyrean right fucking now after this intro. Hello, please excuse me. So you guys might be wondering, uh, why are you wearing your pajamas, Cubic? Well, I do not have any good reason for that, other than I just woke up and I really wanted to review the new Skrillex because it came out in the middle of the night last night and I fucking wanted to do it in the middle of the night, but like there's people sleeping here so I can't be fucking headbanging and loudly reacting to what I'm assuming is gonna be some fire fucking music. So I had to wait till the morning and here we are in my pajamas reacting to some new Skrillex. So there's not much more to say. Uh, it's called Clip Town Empyrean. It came out last night. It's Skrillex, so I have no idea if it's gonna be dubstep, trap, pop, house, whatever it is. I'm excited to hear it. I believe it was either yesterday or today, or a combination of the two, that um, it's the 10 year anniversary of Scary Monsters Nice Sprites. Skrillex was really quick to upload it. It seemed like he uploaded it right out of SoundCloud right when he finished making it. So I'm kind of assuming that it's going to be something kind of celebrating scary monsters and nice sprites. Maybe throwing back to that sound. I'm hoping it's some dubstep. But yeah, Cliptown Empyrean, which I have no idea what that name stands for or what it's referencing. But it's Skrillex. He likes to sample shit. He likes to put a lot of meaning behind things. So I'm definitely gonna look that up after this. Okay. So this could be some garage. It's some like kind of hyper pop influences here. Ooh! Ooh! Okay! This is such a fucking bop already. Like, the drum beat, it's so fucking gentle. The percussion is perfection. The atmosphere and the textures, the kids. It's such a fun, just unique world they created. Okay, so it seems like this is most of the song, but it really gets you dancing. These pads he added. I mean, I feel kind of dumb reviewing Skrillex because it's Skrillex. Like, he just always kills everything, so. Oh, man, he's really, everything adds and contributes to the rhythm. Every element he added. And so it's just, it just gets you fucking grooving. I love it. I love music like this so much. I like this really subtle percussion being filtered in and out. I'm assuming a lot of this is him singing. I don't know what's happening, like what the vocals are saying, but I love it. Really building tension. It's really subtle, but there must be some white noise in the background or something. Oh, I'm getting shivers. Ah, oh, it's amazing that he can, even with so, such a simple, like, bare bones song, like, meaning, like, not a lot of elements going on, is still able, just through musicality and his, just, experience and skill of creating music, he's able to kind of convey emotions through something as simple as this. Cause like, uh, I just got like chills and uh, 
It's like a drum beat, pads, and vocals, and that's about it. Oh, that's beautiful. Feels like a thank you song. But um, I'm probably just reading into it. But yeah, that was uh, that was really fun, really beautiful. I did want some dubstep. Don't get me wrong. I wanted that to be like Skrillex and I mean uh, Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites 2020 version or some shit like that. But still, it was fun. It was beautiful. I just love how versatile Skrillex is. I, I can't help but appreciate it. Um, for many artists, but um, yeah, I mean, always leaves you guessing and seeing what the fuck he's going to do next. He's been making a lot of pop and shit like this past couple years. And so, like, I'm sure we all fucking miss the dubstep. And hopefully when he eventually someday drops his album, there'll be some fucking new dubstep and shit. Or maybe he'll make future rhythm. Who knows? But yeah, that was fun. Um, hope you guys had fun listening to that. Or if you uh, heard it in the middle of the night, I really fucking wanted to listen to it. But now that I've started doing these reviews, I have to fucking wait to listen to the music I'm most excited about, which is like one downside, but it also makes it more fun and keeps the reactions genuine. So uh, thanks for checking this video out. Hope you had as much fun as I did. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more content like this. I know so far I've mostly reviewed Rhythm, but I'm gonna, I plan on reviewing everything. Like everything electronic music, fucking reviewing it. So yeah, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. Haven't said to do that in any of these videos yet, and I should be because it's important. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Here's the intro. I mean, outro. Outro.